And now to the last lead singer of The Supreme. She's joined by her daughter to talk about how they're continuing the musical legacy through the Manson de Music Foundation. I hope I'm saying that right. Maison. Ladies, help me out. It's Sherry Payne yeah. from The Supremes and her daughter, Shoshana uh, Phillips. How do you say that? Yes. It's Maison de Music Foundation and Le Bois Studio. Perfect. There we go. I've got to get my French uh, uh, even better. Um, this is exciting, Sherry. Supremes recently received the Lifetime Achievement Award uh, for the Grammys. What was it like to be honored with an award like that? Wow. Uh, such a privilege and such an honor. The original Supremes, Diana Ross, Florence Ballard, Mary Wilson, and... Uh, I couldn't have been more elated to see them honored. Uh, I sang with uh, Mary Wilson for a number of years. I joined the Supremes in 1973, and I was the last lead singer of the group. And I'm so proud of that moment, uh, proud to have been with Mary and Cindy Birdsong. And then Suse joined us, Suse Green joined us. But uh, it was wonderful. Uh, so deserving. The Supremes set records uh, all over the world. Their music will live on forever. And, and why do you think, I mean, it's impossible to say, 50 <laughs> years later, these songs still <laughs> resonate. They still work. Why do you think that is? I think it's because of the emotion of the songs. They're simple, simplistic. They're not hard. People can sing along and they're positive, um, all about love and caring and uh, that's what's so important. That's what this world needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's perpetuity. And all over the world, people are still singing these songs written by primarily Holland Dozier Holland. And um, I'm part of the, proud to have been part of that legacy. Well, with, with very good reason. Um, Shoshana, tell me about the Lavoie Studios and the work you guys do. Yes, uh, we opened about 13 years ago. And... Uh, it's a studio, we're locally based in Studio City, and we teach uh, voice lessons, music lessons, piano lessons, guitar lessons, sight reading lessons, um, and uh, we put on shows as well for our students of all ages from four to 99 uh, years old. And um, yes, we, we even have workshops as well and put on one of my mom's original musicals, The Dream Seekers. And um, yes, yeah, so we just we just love what we do. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful um, thing that we've put together. And of course, with my fiance, Charles Eugene, created this safe haven for and creative space for all of our students to come and learn uh, music. Yes. And, and one thing that you guys do, Sherry, and this is so important, is through this foundation, you help students who may not be, because private musical That's training can be a, a pretty costly thing, but, but you right. offer scholarships and, and other ways for people to get to the education, whether they have the money or not. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. Yes. So uh, in, in opening the studio, what we found is that there was a need, a need that a lot of these music programs that had been taken out of the schools well, the programs that were available were really costly. So that's when we decided to open up and start a foundation to really help also those who are in need and talented to be able to um, uh, train and uh, be able to afford music lessons and study. We bring in other teachers as well. Mr. Jim Gilstrap and Pamela Benson are some of our wonderful teachers who are in the industry and um, yes, so. That, that's great, you're doing all this. And then there's a big event coming up, a 10th annual gala. Tell us about the gala, please. Yes, so it's a 10th annual gala. I can't believe 10 years already, <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be in Bel Air and at the American Jewish University. Uh, we're gonna be honoring my mom, Linda Lawrence of the Supremes, who say of the Supremes and paying tribute to all of the Supremes and the music and come out the the tickets are on sale on the wasstudio.com it's going to be april the 23rd and uh, a couple years ago in fact we honored my aunt frida Payne. yes and quincy jones sent in a video tribute to her and uh, justin chambers from Grey's anatomy uh presented her award um that was our last uh annual event so this year 
We'll have some special guests as well performing to Yay. help pay tribute and honoring the music of the Supremes. Well, I tell you what, that sounds terrific. We're going to tell people how they can go. If you want to learn more about this, uh, you go to the website for Lavoie Studios, L-A-V-O-I-X, you know, the the... the French pronunciation, L-A-V-O-I-X, studio.com for more information and to purchase tickets uh, to that gala. It looks like a great event and what great work uh, yeah. those ladies are doing. That's really good. Wonderful. Thank you, Sam.